just like a constant thing. Like I'm never gonna like gain back my hearing. So I'm always going to have to like inform people about it and like constantly advocate for myself. Kind of like two sides of it. So I have issues like just hearing the professor and a lot of times I won't even notice that I've missed something. Um, like they'll talk and I'll completely just not even notice that they were talking in the first place. So it's not like, oh, like some of it is, oh, I misheard something and I realized that I misheard it or I realized that I missed something. And some of it is just like completely, I didn't even notice that I missed it. Um, and then I also get issues where my hearing aids amplify all the noise. So like all the other kids in class, all of the, like the bag shuffling and stuff. And because my brain isn't used to dealing with all that excess noise, there are like issues with it being really distracting for me. So again, the oxidized form of the character is um, and I do like, I didn't actually realize how much I rely on like some lip reading until after people started wearing masks and I was like, oh, I use that a lot. And I think it also kind of like muffles their voices too. Um, so there's that, but it's not like just in classes. Like I go to the grocery store and I have no idea what the cashier is saying. Glucose plus 602. A lot of times I've had professors where they'll like, um, have you like go off into small groups and work during the class period. Um, and it's really hard for me to hear in those situations because every single other person in the classroom is talking at the same time. Um, so I'll be trying to work with like three other students and I can't hear them, especially now with the masks, I can't read lips either. Um, so I just kind of like nod along and like laugh occasionally. That's my go-to response if I can't hear someone. Um, and that's not a fun feeling. I mean, it's not like I'm like embarrassed about it or ashamed, but sometimes people get like weird after I tell them. Uh, like, I mean, talking a little louder helps, but when you're like screaming in my face, it's not a pleasant <laughs> feeling. <laughs> um, or they'll like start like over enunciating their words and that actually makes it harder to lip read. And it's just like, you feel like they're like, think you're stupid when they start like screaming in your face and like moving their mouth really big. My senior year, my ASL teacher, my senior year was talking to me about Gallaudet and um, applying there. Um, the thing is, is that I've like gotten used to being like in a mainstream school. So I like know how to accommodate for that. I don't know how to like accommodate and like, like I'd be learning ASL completely and I'm not fluent in ASL. Um, so I'd be like attending classes and that while trying to simultaneously learn the language. Um, and deaf people sign fast, <laughs> like really fast. I also don't like when people like see me doing well and are like, oh, it's so easy for you <laughs> because it is harder. I don't want the pity for it, but I do want people to understand that like you listen to someone, you're good to go. You pretty much understand everything they're saying. Um, I could listen to someone like three, four times over, even with my hearing aids in, and there's still a chance that I miss something.